This is the symbol for angle, and it actually looks strangely similar to this angle right over here. But this little pointy thing, or it almost looks like a less than sign, but it's not quite. It's flat on the bottom right over here. This is the symbol for angle. You'd say angle BAC, BAC, or you could say angle CAB, or angle CAB. In either case, they're kind of specifying this corner, or sometimes you could view it as this opening right over here. And the important thing to realize is that you have the vertex in the middle of the letters. Now you might be saying, wait, why go through the trouble of listing all three of these letters? Why can't I just call this angle A? And to see that, let me show you another diagram. And although the geometric definition of an angle involves, involves two rays that have the same vertex, in practice, you're, you're going to see many angles that are made up of lines and line segments. And you can imagine that you could continue those line segments on and on in one direction, and then they would become rays. So in that way, they're consistent with this definition. But let's say I have one line segment that looks like that. Let me label some points here. So we've already used A, B, C. So let me call this D and E, points D and E. So this is line segment D, E. And let's say I also have line segment Let's say I also have line segment FG, FG. And let's say this point where these two line segments inter intersect, let's call that point point H. Now how could we specify, how could we specify this angle right over here? Can we just call that angle H? Well, no, because angle, if we just said angle H, the angle that has a vertex H, it could be this angle right over here, or it could be this angle right over here. Let me draw it this way. You could view it that way, or it could be this, it could be that angle over there, it could be this angle over here, it could be this angle over here, or it could be that angle over there. And so the only way to really specify which angle you're talking about well is to give three letters. So let's so if you if you really did want to talk about if you really did want to talk about that angle right over there, you would call that angle E H G.